successful New York businessman suffers a great tragedy and retreats from life, but not before he questions the universe by writing letters to love, time, and death. In Collateral Beauty, his letters are answered. We're here to connect. Love, time, death. Now these three things connect every single human being on Earth. We long for love, we wish we had more time, and we fear death. Did you lose a child, Howard? I think one of the things that pulled me in, a friend of mine runs this studio, New Line, that's making, that made this movie. He's an old friend and he said, I, I really want you to do this film with Will and uh, we're making this movie and it's a holiday, and he said holiday movie and I was like, my mind went to all these kind of like cookie cutter Valentine. I was like, I think you got the wrong guy. And he said, no, 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 read it, read it. And I, I read the script and I was, I was struck by, I thought it had actual wisdom in it. You know, like I, I really thought it had, like it wasn't shying away from the things that really we don't like to face up to, like, you know, death and, 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 um, and how you get through really painful loss. My, my father was you know, given six weeks during my preparation for Collateral Beauty, so we sort of shared the process. Um, and to be able to firmly confront mortality was um, beautiful for both of us, that we didn't hide, we talked about it, and in the film this is a character who has searched all of the religions and searched all of the science and all of, to try to find an answer of how do we continue after loss. And to be able to share that experience with my father in his, in his final days was uh, one of the most beautiful experiences I've, I've had. Howard's a brilliant, creative, charismatic guy. He used to love life. Right now, he hates it. I try to talk to him, I try to reach him, and he's not there. I miss him. He writes letters. Who are they to? Howard doesn't write letters to people. He writes to things. Time. Love. Death. Kids write letters to Santa Claus. It doesn't mean they're crazy. No, this is therapeutic. Who did you write the letter to? I wrote the letter to death. Nice to meet you. They're charmed, I'm sure. Nope. I feel like this is a little different character for you through the years. I don't know if it was the um, T-shirt, the Grateful, uh, Dead. Grateful Dead T-shirt. That <laughs> yeah. kind of threw me a little yeah. bit that you were wearing that. <laughs> well, you know, we uh, bef between David and I, we sort of visualized her as being this sort of East Village, New York East Village. Uh, woman, <laughs> it's actually who I could have easily have become if I if my career hadn't taken a different path and if I hadn't sort of grown out of that sort of thing. <laughs> but you know, it, if and you see people around like that who've never quite grown out of mm -hmm. the sixties or seventies. Or just the whole movie did it change your change I your think, outlook a little bit. I think for me, I was just sort of um, reassured on time. I was reassured on how much time am I spending in the moment. How much time am, am I picking up the phone to call someone I love? Um, how much time am I trying to build relationships and um, you know those 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 type of things you know it's, and it's real and those when you when you leave the film you say how much time am I truly spending with someone? I'm time. I'm a gift and you're wasting it. You're gonna think I'm crazy but I'm having conversations. I am love. Don't try and live without me, Howard. I saw you in her eyes when she called me daddy, and you betrayed me. I'm the reason for everything. If you can accept that, then maybe you get to live again. Shed your skin, find your life, and find collateral beauty in your real-time theater. And keep the tissues handy. <laughs>